Even the sound from the best studio monitors can be ruined by poor room acoustics. It is the interaction of the loudspeaker and the room that produces really good monitoring sound. Remember the switches that we mentioned in part one? They change the way the monitors work in the room significantly. You would be amazed how many customers ignore these switches. And yet even the smallest surface on your desk plays an important part in the room acoustics. Dozens of acoustic factors need to be right for good monitoring, like size, treatment and furnishings. Now they can be managed by us very precisely. Today I'm presenting a tool which goes way beyond the possibilities of the back panel controls. Neumann Control harnesses the full potential of the digital signal processing in our new studio monitors, both for experienced professionals and for beginners. You can configure and save several setups from one to nine loudspeakers. Don't skip the positioning hints. Take your time to consciously make the right decisions. Remember that even a few centimeters or an inch difference in positioning audibly changes imaging. Yes, we could simply change time delays, but remember, room acoustics first, signal processing last. After quickly defining a system, we have already reached the topic of alignment. Those who have an acoustic measurement system, and the knowledge to use it, can define everything in a manual alignment. Acoustical control filters, global balance, level, and delay. You need a lot of experience, measurements, and patience for this level of detail. This topic alone would warrant a separate episode, or 10. But to achieve significantly better sound, from now on, you don't need complex calibration technology, plus the theoretical knowledge from academic textbooks. All you need is a tape measure, two minutes of your time, and your studio sound will be in a new league. We call it guided alignment. Let's take a look. First of all, we need the room's dimensions. The room volume influences the acoustical energy from the monitor. Next, we need to look at the acoustics of the room. Is the room hard and echoey, or soft and damped? Is the room fairly empty? Are there a few or lots of furnishings, soft or hard? Are we in a bedroom that sometimes becomes a studio? Or are we in a professional control room with special acoustic treatment? The environment substantially affects the acoustical absorption. Combining volume and treatment allows us to estimate the reverberation time. This affects how we apply the acoustical controls later. It's such a novel approach that we have applied for a patent. Finally, we look at the position of each loudspeaker. The nearer the monitors are to the wall, the more acoustic loading is experienced. As a result, bass and low mids would be overemphasized. We don't want that. Or the small screen on the desk. From an acoustic perspective, it acts like a very small wall and changes the low mid frequency range. We ought to take account of this too. Finally, we have to include the exact distance between the loudspeaker's front panel and the listening position. If they're still different, we can introduce a time delay to electronically move the closer loudspeakers backwards. By the way, no. The KH80s are not too small for a bigger room. That would be a hi-fi way of thinking. We don't need to fill the entire room with sound, but instead deliver a clear working sound over a relatively short listening distance. Now we have completed the guided alignment, the signal processing in each monitor is set with 28 parameters. Using the simple switches on the back panel of the loudspeaker is what we could call a good first attempt. What we have now with guided alignment is far better than that. Additionally, you can manually fine-tune this guided alignment according to your needs. So there we are, ready to go. Your sound is more accurate than it has ever been. We're curious to hear what you can achieve next. Thanks for your patience and goodbye.